Welcome to Easy Alim, Learning Simplified. My name is Ruth and today we are going to be looking at uh, magnitude of vectors. The topic is vectors. So we're going to see what is magnitude. We remember we defined as vector should have magnitude and direction. So now we have been looking at different ways to uh, calculate vectors, add, subtraction, column vectors, position vectors. So today we are going to conclude that part by calculating uh, magnitude of vectors and we'll see what is the formula to do this. So magnitude, magnitude in two direction, in two, do, in two D dimensions, for example, if you want to get the magnitude of vector PQ, Basically, we are moving from point P to point Q, as you can see from the direction of the vector. So we move eight steps on the x-axis and four steps on the y-axis. So the, the vector is going to be eight, four, and remember they are both positive because they are moving in the positive direction. So if you want to get the value of PQ, we just use the Pythagoras theorem information that we learned later on in the beginning of form two work. So if you want to get, um, from uh, the, length, the length of point P to Q, we used to say this is the hypotenuse. We used to say it's going to be PQ squared is equals to 8 squared plus 4 squared. Remember, that is what we used to do. So PQ is going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 4 squared. So this is going to be the square root of 64 plus 16, which is going to be the square root of, so if we add uh, 64 plus 16, you're going to get 80, so this is the square root of 80, which will give us the square root of 80 is going to be 8.94. So that is going to be the magnitude of uh, uh, this vector PQ. So in other words, when we are looking at a magnitude, if you are given coordinates of x and y, is the same of taking the coordinates of x squared, y squared, and the square root of the same. So you do not necessarily have to do the uh, to draw the, the vector. You can draw the vector if you are asked to, but the magnitude now becomes the and you, you see how we represent magnitude, it becomes the square root of x squared plus y squared. Now that becomes um, the length of the directed line segment which represents it. So let's look at the magnitude of the following vectors. We are going to use uh, the graph to help us to understand how this vector looks like. So if you look at the first vector 4, 3, it means we are moving four steps on the x-axis. So if this is the, the, the point that we are starting, so we are moving four steps, one, two, three, four, and then we are moving three steps downwards, one, two, three, and downwards because um, remember we said on the y-axis, if you are moving on the on the opposite direction of the, the x, the negative side, it becomes negative. So if you join these points, you form now our vector, which is going to be, uh, this is the line. So we want to get this, you said it's four steps, so one, this is four. If you were to extend this, and then up downwards, it's going to be three steps. We don't use, uh, we don't uh, take the, you see, we are, we are saying it's negative because it is going downwards uh, three times. Eh? So you shouldn't worry about the ne negative values. Negative tells us that we are going uh, in the opposite direction. So remember, even if you have the negative um, uh, sign, it's going to be removed in the, in the process of calculation. So when you look at the first question, for example, the one that we have just drawn, Remember, we said it is 4, negative 3. So this is the value of x, this is the value of y. And we said that the magnitude is going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. The reason why I'm telling you the negative will be removed, this is what I'm meaning. So x squared is going to be 4 squared, and then plus y squared is negative 3 squared. 
this is what we have. So this is going to be the square, the four squared is 16. So you see negative three times negative three, it becomes positive. So that's why I'm saying that it doesn't really uh, like affect the question. So this becomes nine, as you can see. So you keep that in mind, do not be confused because there is a negative, you see, you might get a different answer. It helps us to know how the direction or the position of the vector in a graph. So 16 plus 9 gives us 25, so the square root of 25 is going to be 5. So the magnitude of this vector is going to be 5. Great. So let's uh, wrap that and do the second question, which is Roman 2. So this moves on the x-axis three times on the opposite direction, so 1, 2, 3, and then moves down upwards four steps, so 1, two, three, four. So our point is here. So this is the vector we are uh, discussing. So we said it moves uh, three steps on the x axis and four steps on the y axis. So if we look at the, ma of the, at the uh, magnitude, it's going to be negative three, four. So this is the x uh, coordinate and the y coordinate or the x unit and y unit. So this is going to be x squared plus y squared, so in this case it will be x squared is negative 3 squared plus y squared is 4 squared. So this is the square root of 9 plus 16 once again, which gives us the square root of 25, which is 5. So you see how you calculate. So let's do Roman 3. So Roman 3, once again, if we if this is our starting point, it moves three steps on the x on the x uh, axis and then one step upwards on the y axis. So this forms our vector when you join these two. So there are three steps this side and one step this side. So when we calculate the magnitude, it's going to be the square root of x squared plus y squared. In this case, we have negative 3 and 1. So this is going to be the x uh, unit and y unit. So it's going to be the square root of minus 3 squared plus 1 squared. So negative 3 times negative 3 will give us 9 because negative and negative is positive, plus 1 squared is 1, so this is going to be the square root of 10. And the square root of 10, sometimes you'll have to use the table or you can use the calculator. Either way, you'll still be able to get the same answer, which will give us 3.16. So that's how you calculate that. And finally, we have the last question, which is, 8, 15. So it means that if we have our starting, our starting point is here, then it means you're moving eight steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, and then 15 steps, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, up to here. So this means our vector can join this with a straight line. It's from this point to this point. So this is our vector. So we are moving eight steps on the uh, x-axis and y steps, 15 steps on the y-axis. So it should be the other way around. We should have been moving uh, the other way around. Let's, let's make a correction. So it's eight steps on the other side. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, because it's positive, and then 15, one, two, uh, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15 here. So you join these two points with a straight line. And so this is our vector. So we have eight points this side and 15 points. So our x, y values are going to be 8 and 15. So when you look for the magnitude, it's going to be the square root of x squared and y squared. So this is going to be the square root of 8 squared plus 15 squared. This is 64 and 15 squared is going to give us 225.
So if we add 225 plus 64, this gives us 289. And the square root of 289 becomes 17. So the magnitude of the last vector is going to be 17. So that's how we do it. Uh, I hope you've been able to understand magnitude. Just make sure you get the uh, x values and the y values. So check out more revision questions and notes, especially the KCSC questions, with the app and uh, so that you can be able to understand this topic. See you in the next lesson.